Doctor, I drink a lot of water. How much water should I drink? Well, this question is asked by many patients to a nephrologist doctor because finally a nephrologist is a urine doctor while a urologist is a stone doctor. So whenever the patient comes to a nephrologist and he tells about the kidney issues which may be minor issues or major issues, there may be high creatinine or there may be proteinuria, the main question asked is about diet and water intake. So today in this video we will be talking only about water intake. So in water intake, usually as we say that we are around say uh, average Indian is around 60 to 80 kilos of the total body weight and out of that around 60% is water. So that is in the interstitial fluid inside the cells and in the blood. So that homeostatic milieu is maintained by our usual water intake. Now when we are thirsty and we drink water, that is the normal water intake which we know about. But there is also an unknown social water intake. We take tea, we take coffee, we take juices, we take buttermilk. So this all of course is water. Even the food which we eat, the food is composed of carbohydrates. So carbohydrates is carbon plus hydrates which is water. So whenever the food is digested, then it converts into carbon dioxide and water. So this water is an insensible intake. We do not see it as water, but finally it is water itself. So there are many dialysis patients who will be drinking just minimum fluid, but the internal intradialytic weight gain between two dialysis is around four kilos or five kilos. That is water which is accumulated in the body, which is more than what water they are taking usually. That is because the food which we eat gets digested and that also gets converted into carbon dioxide and water, the carbohydrate part of it. So this all things tell us about the total water intake of the person. We tell a patient to maintain a water diary if there is any problems with the electrolytes of the person. That is the dyselectrolytemia. Sodium is high or low, potassium is high or low. In such cases, we will tell them to also monitor the water intake along with the various food and salt intake of the person. So whenever we are having a dilutional thing, we are having an edema, swelling of the feet or of the entire body called as anasarka, then we will tell the person to not drink extra water. Because if they drink more excess water, then that fluid gets accumulated in the lungs and the patient will become breathless. Patient will require oxygen, ventilator, patient will have a threat to his life. So in such patients who are already swollen up, we tell them not to drink water. If the person is Uvolemic, which means that there is no swelling but there is no dehydration also that is clinical dehydration the sunken eyeballs and the dry tongue if there is a person is uvolemic there is a good water balance usually we tell them to take around 1.5 to 2 liters of water daily some patients ask about excessive water intake whether i can take six liters of water in the entire day i can drink two liters in the morning at one go that all depends on your water balance of the body and of course, if the patient is dehydrated, then we will request the patient to take extra water. Patients who are stone patients, we will tell them to have a more dilute urine so that the early crystals of the stone are passed out. And the crystallization, the formation of stone is slowed down or is delayed. In such patients, we do tell the patient to take around 8 liters 6 liters of water daily and this leads to a better control of the stone burden in the person. As you know in a previous video I have told you that Indians in Pakistan is a gifted with stones by God. So we have the maximum kidney stones in the entire world. This is called as the stone belt of the world. So in such cases if you know that there has been a previous stone formation that is a stone former person not a frequent stone former we will request that person to take around 6 to 8 liters of fluids including water so that the urine is diluted including other medicines also which are required not just water intake to delay or reduce the stone formation. So many patients will ask me how much water should I drink? So I will assess the patient about the water status, hydration status of the body, whether you are hyperhydrated, swollen up, you are uvolemic, normal or you are dehydrated. And that finally will tell me ki how much water I should advise the patient. Thank you.